to West Asia first, where fierce fighting has resumed in the rebel-held enclave of eastern Ghouta. Rights groups say as many as 40 people have been killed in fresh air raids in the area. Footage released by rights groups show plumes of smoke rising and ash clouding streets due to the military blitz. The Syrian bombardment is backed by Russia and is aimed at punishing the rebels who now control only Duma in the eastern Ghouta enclave. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says there's been massive damage due to the bombings on Friday and Saturday. The airstrikes follow the collapse of talks after a 10-day ceasefire this week between the rebel faction and the Syrian government forces. So the violence continues. The battle is on for the last rebel-held enclave in eastern Ghouta, that is Duma. There's fierce fighting afoot for that last Syrian enclave as uh, Syrian government forces battle it out with the, the last held rebel uh, factions in Duma. We on Daniele Pagani joining me from the newsroom for more on that story. Uh, Daniele, it's uh, the final frontier, so to speak, but uh, the resistance is strong as well. And the civilians, of course, continue to suffer in all of this. Obviously, yes. So we have to understand the scene of Duma right now. The major group which was in control of Duma is called the Jaish al-Islam, which means the Army of Islam. They actually started pouring out of Duma after an agreement fell in place, an agreement between the rebels and the Syrian governments and the Russians. But there are, I would say, factions within this faction of rebels who decided not to flee and not to respect the agreement, who wanted perhaps to negotiate more favorable conditions and the Syrian government and the Russian army clearly said that if this wasn't going to come to an end very quickly, these negotiations with smaller parts of this Jaish al-Islam, they were ready to attack and this is what we are seeing. The problem is that it is happening so fastly that not all civilians have abandoned Duma. Most of them have and most of them have reached the safe, the province of Idlib. Right. And Daniele, you, you mentioned favorable conditions. What are the kind of conditions that are being uh, uh, offered to uh, these rebels by the Syrian government? So there is a little bit of a problem with this particular rebel faction, the Jaish al-Islam. This is a rebel faction which is, uh, I, so, so to say, native to the city of Duma. Most of them belong to the city of Duma and have had uh, uh, many rivalries with other rebel groups. So it is difficult to find a place uh, suitable for them where to relocate. They cannot move to other rebel-held areas because they have problems. When I say problems, I mean they had military clashes with other rebel factions. Inter-rebel fighting has been another of the many elements of the Syrian war. So the favorable condition would have meant for them to negotiate either a new place which they could control or a place which would be under one of the maybe minoritarian rebel groups uh, who can forge an alliance with them. So this might be the favorable condition or perhaps even carrying their light weapons. It has happened in the past, but uh, this is not a public agreement. So I am guessing by uh, and trying to understand what could be these favorable conditions.